In this video I'm gonna show how we build a living documentation system using Speclog and Specflow. Planning the product development is done on various workspaces in Speclog, such as this one here showing the current roadmap for the Milestone 5 and we also plan iterations on different workspaces where we queue up the stories we wanna do within an iteration. When we plan for an iteration we are capturing the acceptance criteria for each user story plan for the iteration. We start with noting down ideas and questions we have, which we collect in collaborating between the team and the product owner. This collaboration can also include some UI samples, which we prepare in order to implement the story. Collected acceptance criteria are discussed and refined between the product owner and the team in the sprint planning. After the sprint planning, the team starts formalizing the acceptance criteria in Visual Studio. In our source code, we are building a one-to-one -one mapping between the user story of the current iteration and our Specflow feature files. Developers write the formalized Gherkin for Specflow in Visual Studio and refine the according acceptance criteria here. Additionally, the developers are linking back the created feature files to Speclog. Through that, the product owner can review the formalized acceptance criteria and also compare them with his original planning notes. Or he can browse here the notes, what was discussed, and he can also see like how our current acceptance criteria now formalized in the automated scenarios. The product owner can then also delete notes that have been already refined into formalized acceptance criteria from the unformalized Speclog acceptance criteria notes. On our CI website, the product owner can watch the progress of the implementation of the scenarios that have been formalized. For each automated build we do, we also run the Specflow scenarios for the current iteration and here you can see, as a product owner, how the user story is formalized, then implemented and finally done based on the acceptance criteria that have been defined for automation. We are having two kinds of automated builds in our system. One are the CI builds, which are executing the spec flow scenarios for the current iteration. And we have acceptance builds, which are running less frequently, where we have the automated acceptance criteria that have been tagged as done already. And we can see basically the whole product being validated against what has been once implemented already. Once the features of the iteration have been accepted, they are merged into a separate directory in our solution. In our solution, we are maintaining a separate directory of spec flow features that are representing our living documentation tree and that provide a functional overview of the system and you can see each spec flow feature which has been automated for this already. What we do is we take the current iteration user stories acceptance criteria and we merge each acceptance criteria, so each scenario, into one or more of the features in our living documentation tree. There is not necessarily a one-to-one -one mapping between a user story and a feature because you can have a user story that cross-cuts multiple features. In this case, you will have to move the scenarios from one user story to different features in your feature tree. The aim of the current iteration user stories is show what you're currently building, what is the next evolution of your product, while the aim of the living documentation tree is to give you an overview about what your product has already implemented, so a functional overview. The feature tree is organized hierarchically, so we have top level functions and you can break it down to smaller functions. And in these smaller functions, far more fine grained functions, we have the individual acceptance criteria. This feature tree is also mirrored back into Speclog in order to give the product owner a better overview about what the product currently has built in already. In this living documentation tree, the product owner has easy access or overview about all the features and he can very easily drill into the details of the features and also view the scenarios that have been automated for each individual feature. This gives also a very good input when planning new stories when you try to see how you want to extend a certain feature. 
Another benefit of this is that the Speclog repository is a single file containment for all your living documentation. So all the acceptance criteria from the Specflow feature files together with the stories and the relationships can be copied into a single file uh, which you can copy and view offline as well if you want.